technology participating in the enhancement of medicine is a huge, huge, of huge importance to humanity. The life saving part is that we can actually today monitor more than 50% of the patients would not have to come to the hospital. We just need to know their parameters. This will do two things. One, people who are unable to come to you will be able to access you for a very small price. Second is the follow-up. For a, for a follow-up, if I know his ECG, I know his blood pressure, I know his blood sugar, I know his pulse rate, and I can see him, or his scar on the, then I can say, everything is in order, you continue, these are the medications, that's what it is. So he doesn't have to come. I'm operating on patients from all over the world. So they don't have to travel from all over the world to be, to be monitored by me. So I think that way, there is a revolution happening in, in healthcare. So we have, we have a very active telemedicine uh, stream going. Our patients are accessing us from anywhere in the world. We have robots to operate with so that we don't have to open the body. We have the most advanced angiographic images so that we can put the, with very accuracy stents and stuff like that. We have transformed heart surgery from being the maximum expensive sort of invasive to minimal invasive. We are using robots for surgery. We are doing robotic valve changes. We are doing port access through small holes. So all this is enabled by technology, our skills, but the technology has enabled us. We, we are the ones who, who actually invented robotic kidney transplant. We do robotic kidney transplant so that you don't have big scars, you don't have the risk to life. These are small little five millimeter holes. We can do the whole thing. So these are the differentiators of Medanta that we have. And one principle that we have here is that treat every patient like they were your relative, mother, father, brother, sister, then that's the best you can give them. We are working with an American company to actually develop the new remote artificial intelligence because there are there's a big shortage of intensive care people of specialized people so entire data of an icu thousands of miles away is being captured by me here real time you can monitor hundreds of critical care beds at the highest level because the algorithms of artificial intelligence we are creating so we know when anything goes out of range or differential diagnosis is to be made it comes to us immediately so these are unlimited scope for safety of patients, for treatment of new diseases, for reducing the cost of a patient care. The target was in 10 years, we should be undoubtedly as good or better than anybody in the world. Now we are seven years and I think we have reached 70% and I think we can accomplish it in the next three years, which is my aim.